What's up guys, Riley here from RP Productions and today we are finally getting new tires put on the rear of the Scat Pack. Also in other news, I finally got a proper microphone set up for my GoPro so the audio should be a lot better. I'm hoping, um, I haven't heard it yet, but we're about to find out. I'm sure you're listening now saying, wow, Riley sounds great. At least that's what I hope. But uh, today we're gonna be going with the 275-4020 Nitto 555G2s. That's a lot of words. Um, now basically I came to the conclusion that they are going to be the best overall tire um, for daily driving and also you know spirited performance type driving. Um, I feel like they're you know a happy medium. They're not like a pure drag radial, so I should be able to you know drive them in the rain and not have any problems. Um, but we're just gonna give them a shot. I've heard mixed reviews on them. I've heard mixed reviews on every tire I've looked at. Uh, that's a it's a really hard thing to do is find tires. It's like you know you think you find one and then somebody's like no, do not get those. They suck. So it's like, eh, like I just don't know what to do. So I've decided I'm gonna go with these. We're gonna put them on um, 275s. You know, I'm going from a 245 wood tire to a 275 wood tire. So that's, I think, about an inch or something um, larger. Uh, and I'm keeping them on the stock wheels as well. So we're about to be a discount tire, so we'll check them out for the first time. So uh, let's go check them out. All right guys, so just got home from Discount Tire. I'll include these pictures here from my experience there, but everything went great. So still have the uh, stock tires up here in the front. And now if we come back here to the back, here is what the new babies look like. So like I said before, they're the Nitto 555 G2 um, tires, and they look really, really nice. I'm actually very, very happy with the way these look, uh, as well as hopefully, hopefully as well as uh, how they perform as well. So. Come around here to the back, check out the other side. Uh, oh, this one's in sunlight, so this is a little bit better view, but there is what they look like. And then let's get a shot from the back. Uh, they're, uh, they're definitely a lot more meaty than the other tires. And uh, when you walk up to them and you know you feel them, they're a lot uh, a stickier compound. So that should be really good for uh, hooking uh, better. I'm not expecting a you know pure hook from these, but I am expecting it to be much better than the other ones um so only time will tell there but just kind of wanted to update you guys saying that i got these tires and i know a lot of people were wanting me to do a burnout and they're like please do a burnout ah i really wanted to but i was able to sell my stock tires back to discount tire gain some money that way to put towards these and so i really did not pay much for these tires at all which is very nice that way i can put money towards other mods so what i will do is once these tires run out of tread, which we'll you know, be doing kind of a tread wear uh, test with these tires, we'll see how long they last me. Once these run out, I will promise you guys, this is my word, I will do a burnout with these tires, but uh, you will just have to wait until these get down. So I know a lot of people are wanting to see that. I, I read the comments, I know, loud and clear, but um, we'll just have to hold off a little bit longer on that. But um, expect a full review of these tires coming soon. I want to get used to them first. I want to drive them in the rain. I want to drive them uh, in the hot, the cold, etc. Um, so, you know, probably two weeks from now, I'll have like a full review of these tires. Um, but, you know, until then, I'll keep giving you guys updates on how they're doing. But definitely look very nice. And I'm really excited to, you know, start really testing with these bad boys. I think it'll be really, really cool. And, uh, you know, there's definitely a, a big width difference there in that picture that you uh, you see right there. There's there's quite a noticeable uh, gap in width. So should be very fun to uh, start the testing with these. And uh, as you can tell right there, they peek out just a little bit on the side. So that's kind of cool. So for a while there, I was going to switch up and get the Nitto NT 05s, but I decided not to do that for several, several reasons. One being these tires were about 40 or $50 cheaper per tire. Um, and also the fact that I can actually drive these in the rain uh, and feel, you know, somewhat safe. Uh, that's, you know, that's really nice. This is my daily driver. I'm not trying to go, you know, pure drag radial. I am just trying to get something with more traction. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the reason I did that. Another reason why I went with 275 4020 is that that is the exact same rotating diameter that the 245 4520 s are up here on the front. Um, so, you know, they're going to going to be the same, you know, as far as your speedometer is concerned and, you know, your zero to 60 timer and all that stuff. It's going to be no different. Um, and, you know, it's the exact same ride height as the tires before. Also, 275s is pretty much the max width that you'd want to put on these stock nine inch wheels. But thank you guys for watching this short little video. This is more like an update, but um, look forward to videos coming in the future and I will see you guys soon. Take it easy.